Hey you, I'm Stegan and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install a wheel or WSL file locally on your computer on your virtual environment. Uh, uh, wheel is a local copy of Python packages. You can actually use it anytime anywhere you want with the data connections. So uh, to install a wheel file we need a wheel file right so let's go and download it let's open up a browser and let's go ahead to pyp.org it's a python package index okay and here you can see you can search for projects you want to browse project. you want to browse project right now we need something lightweight okay uh, so we are going to download something lightweight because whenever it is a for three to four m it's going to take a little bit of time not much but at least one minute but whenever it's too short or and kilobytes, kilobytes then it's going to be faster so uh, we need python 3 components so let's search for it yeah we can also use python 2 it's also compatible uh, well let's search for it and i think not i'll go for notification center i guess it is very lightweight okay let's go for there and here you can see it have the python i mean peep install command that is peep install notification center yeah the site right. you can install it by using this but wait wait a moment we don't want to install it from the internet we want to install it locally so whenever you type this it's going to download from um a python lip uh, official lip um which is i i forgot the url whatever but we need a local copy right so to download a local copy you have to scroll down a little bit and here you can see uh, download files now simply click here and the right side you can see uh, the file names or uh, notification that we and another star.js which is zip file okay now what is the first one first one is a wheel and second one is a source code if you want to change anything uh, with the source code then you can do it from here then you can go ahead and download this but we are not going to edit it uh, we have to simply just install that wheel file and to install it we have we, our requirements is python 3 which we have right um so now we are going to install it uh, okay so first of all we need to download the file and whose file we need we need the wheel file right remember we need the wheel file we don't need the down giant source file so be sure to download click on the first link and after that it's gonna open up a pop-up window and here you can select the location i'm going to select a desktop and click save okay now let's minimize the thing we don't need this and here you can see the wheel file have been installed i mean downloaded locally and make sure that you haven't changed the name because if you change the name then this trick might not work okay so this is the thing we have now we need to cmd we need to go to command promo again okay. i have opened command promo now uh, we're going to install on um, we're going to create a virtual environment uh, to create a virtual environment you're going to type mk virtual environment and we're going to name this as let's say wheel wsl okay it's going to install a virtual environment okay make sure um that you have virtual environment wrapper if you don't have virtual environment wrapper then this command will not work you have to do it in other way and if you want a video on this then comment below i'll make a, another video how to install how to create a virtual environment without wrapper okay now we have the file installed okay now we have the virtual environment installed now we have to install this thing okay so here you can see the file is being already opened the wheel i mean the whl virtual environment is active and we, have, we are at this location c users is there our location is c user is there uh, we can actually go from here this is the shortcut okay whatever you can also type it like c users and uh, is there and there we are at the location and here inside that we have this thing activated so we need to copy this thing to this directory we are going to copy this thing to this directory okay now we're going to copy the project by right clicking and going to copy and here is the directory you have to right click and then paste and here you can see it's been changed make sure that you haven't changed the name right click and rename to copy the name now select everything and right click and copy now inside the directory we have to run p well basically we need pip to install everything uh, before installing from pip let's take a look at pip version 
so here you can see okay it's 20.1 which is the latest one released a few days ago uh, now we have the latest version of pip that doesn't matter you can also use 19.1 or 19.03 to use it uh, which comes with python 3.7 or uh, python any version by default okay now we have the pip we have python we have everything that record we have the whole file now how to install it we need pip update so you can use, install the local file using pip so you have to tap pip install and then the file name so what is the file name we have just copied it so we're going to type control v and here comes the notification center that's for john that v2 pi3 and then none then any then dot wsl well make sure that wsl is present here if it's not then it's gonna download from internet so make sure that it's dot wsl okay after that the seat finder okay you can see it's installing collected packages notification center successfully install notification center okay so now we're going to check if it's installed or not so we're going to type pip fridge okay that you can see it's it has freeze notification center that's mean notification center has been installed perfectly